This week on Dumb Pitches, my guest is Birunji, and we go through some bad ideas that we had in college, and when I say we, I mean we. We actually went to college together. <laughs> so it's a it's a fun episode where we reminisce about making stupid decisions when you're young and um, getting away with it. <laughs> it's a great episode. Here we go. Dumb Pitches. What a bunch of dumb pitches. Oh my God. Welcome to another episode of Dumb Pitches with Monica Nevy. I'm Monica Nevy, your host. This is the show where we talk to successful people about their worst ideas. I'm excited for our guest this week. He's in studio. He's right next to me. This is rare. Barunji is here. Yay. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> successful people. Yeah, everyone is like, well, because I have a lot of comics on and our self-esteem is not very high. So every comic is like, successful, really? Successful and I'm like, you people. Are. That's That's, fine. Wow. I'm wow. here to talk you up, you know. I'll take it. I'll okay. take it. Yeah. Well, we do like to start the show by telling people that you haven't only had bad ideas you've had some good ideas you're right so we do, hilarious comedian yeah you've done the seattle international comedy competition the san francisco comedy competition the red clay festival uh, um yeah. you're from uganda um i you, made that part, <laughs> you made that part <laughs> i do love sometimes when he's before me I'll get on stage and go, he's from Bremerton. I don't know why he talks like that. <laughs> it's really just for me. But And also, we know, I don't know if the comedy community knows this about us. Yeah. But we've actually known each other longer than comedy. Yeah, that, that was actually one thing I was thinking of. Because we've been to comedy shows together, but not like a, a setting like this. Mm. And I'm just, because comedy shows, you can hide them. Or like, people have to be there to see it. <laughs> But this one's going to live on. Yeah, they'll be on the internet forever. The first thing I was thinking was, what happens when our professors... (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Well, my teammates... So we went to the same college, and we both uh, were athletes there. And so I've actually known um, him longer than we've been doing stand-up. He played soccer, I played basketball. My teammates, when they come to shows, and they'll be like... Is Robert doing stand up? And I'm like, oh yeah, you've everybody called him I Robert. Know. Then yeah, that was <laughs> anyone listening. That was my white name that I don't, <laughs> I don't use anymore. Once I graduated and got a Did job. Did you only use it in college? Yeah, yeah. I used it in college, and um, <laughs> actually, even my first couple jobs, uh, it was still my name. Really? But at some point, I was like, you know, I've gotten far enough with my white name. I think I can take it on from here. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> your white name is that for it? I can't imagine soccer coaches being like, "What? Yeah. I don't." Just, I know. Like, just I, call me Robert. It's weird because I never even did a public announcement. Mm-hmm. I just switched it and started using it. So I still have some friends come up to me and call me Robert, and I'm like, "Who? Who are you talking?" Yeah, about? we did a show last week in a uh, yeah. Burien, <laughs> and some of my teammates, and then another girl we went to college <clears> with, was like isn't that Robert? And I was like, I mean, <laughs> technically, yes, technically. but... <laughs> the actor formerly known as... <laughs> as Robert. I, it would be hilarious now if I just yeah. walked into a show and I was like, Bob, hey, it's nice <laughs> to see you. <laughs> Have any of your professors come to your shows? I've had some of the athletic mm. administration come before. Like oh, a bunch okay. of them came to a show once, which was a weird. A bunch. I don't That's know if I should scary. say their full names, but you would know them. Um... <laughs> And a couple of professors were with them, but I think, you know, I wasn't, did you get along with your professors well? Uh, I I guess part of college is you're supposed to build relationships with your professors. Yeah. That's one thing I didn't do. I did not do that really at all. (laughs) I have a couple that I liked a lot, and then that was as far as it went. I wasn't like, oh, you should be a mentor for me. I think, Yeah. so I started stand-up my junior year Mm. in college. You started pretty early. Yeah, Yeah, so that I had decided that, Although I really enjoyed my major. Yeah. It wasn't what I was going to do. Yeah. So there was less pressure for me to like utilize those relationships. Yeah. Yeah. I Did liked them, but I, yeah. Yeah. I remember one time they invited me to, because I was part of the debate club. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was a nerd. I've always been you a nerd. Did debate in college? I did, yeah. I was on the team, and then um, they invited me to one of the classes to kind of, like, demonstrate how to speak. So me and a couple other nerds 
<laughs> went to this class, and guess what class it was? It was all athletes. Oh, and of course, because we're dumb and don't know how. Yeah, that, yeah it was particularly <laughs> basketball, and it was all these six foot guys. With it was an early morning too. Like, dude, having classes with them was <laughs> not to not that everyone's dumb or anything, but they were. Yeah. It was the only time in college I felt like I was really distracted by other people in class. <laughs> you know, in high school when you're like, oh, we're yeah. best friends, we shouldn't be in the same class because we're gonna talk the whole time. I never yeah. felt like that in college. I was very quiet and just sat in the back, whatever. Yeah. When other athletes were in there, either my teammates or the men's basketball team, it was yeah. like just stupid. Circus. Like I just, yeah, I was not paying attention. Yeah, this They're was ridiculous. an early morning class, like 8 a.m. Everyone had the, like their hoodie up yeah. like this <laughs> and their hands down their pants and just sitting in the back like, what's this nerd going to say? <laughs> and all five, five, four feet of me just like, <laughs> hey. Hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you how to talk. Oh, man. Oh, that's great. We've that's come hilarious. a long way. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so that's more of our backstory. But <laughs> Okay. So when I sent you kind of the criteria for the yeah. bad ideas, what did you come up with? <clears throat> yeah. So you asked bad ideas and, and you were like scripts, transcripts, all these things. And I'm like, comedians, we don't write shit. <laughs> Half of being a comedian is just procrastinating. That's true. Or just having the idea that's the extent of it. You don't actually, like, do anything with it. Yeah, <laughs> like, even half the time, like, half the time I go on stage, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. And then it works out. So <laughs> uh, I think the the only thing I could think of, and I'm just hoping I don't incriminate myself on anything. They don't know your I, name. It's fine. Was that? <laughs> <laughs> that was Robert. Yeah, this, that was Robert. <laughs> this is the new me. <laughs> no, I had a couple ideas. Um, as far as bad ideas, I remember um, I got two. Okay. They're pretty, pretty short. Uh, first one was well, in I college. Have questions, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> first one was in college, okay. and a friend of mine. Uh, uh, he was. Uh, uh, roommate just of mine. Give us the first and last name, and then <laughs> <laughs> FBI is listening. <laughs> no, this was this was when weed was uh, uh, illegal, mm -hmm. and so a friend of mine told me he had a lead on bulk purchase. Mm, okay. Yeah, and <laughs> you know I'm I'm a college student. I need that extra money, so I was like, yeah, man, you you you, you bring it in bulk. I uh, will invest. <laughs> and then um, it's an investment opportunity yeah yeah it's good because i had seen the movies you know what's that denzel movie where he he cuts up the he's like a gangster like he distributes um american, american gangster american, he's like yeah. an american and a gangster that yeah <laughs> that one right there i was like i could do that <laughs> so yeah my friend would get like the product uh, bring it in and then w you know we'll cut it up into like we bought a scale it was a very small project but <laughs> at the time <laughs> it felt huge like we had scale. like a was a was a the sandwich bag like mm. that amount yeah and then we just cut it up into smaller pieces got it and and, and try to distribute it around yeah how uh, did that go not great <laughs> 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 my i had like i had like a couple of clients okay <laughs> Yeah, there was this one white girl. Um, she uh, she just kept coming back. I was like, okay, yeah, uh, I, you're buying, I'm selling, I'll do. It. And then the other uh, client was my roommate. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and then he would smoke it with me. So it was just like, oh, I, you know, so you turn around, sell it to him, he puts it in a bong. You turn around, and <laughs> smoke it with him. <laughs> um. Yeah, it was. We were not that. We we had like a an envelope with a few hundred, not even hundreds. It was like a hundred bucks or less. It was a very small project. I like that you're like we bought a sandwich bag full, which really is not that much. Yeah. And then you're like now we got to figure <laughs> out how to sell this. No, because our idea, because my friend had told me he had the lead, and if we sell like enough, then you know we, we'll move up. You know, to <laughs> you got you with like a what's it called multi level marketing, but yeah, for <laughs> yeah, it was like we got this, we're gonna make this pyramid um, scheme. Yeah, no, we we did it for a while, and, and it just we, we were just selling. Toys. How long was a while? Was that how long was a while? Uh first of all, I wasn't that proactive. I was for. For a weed distributor, I was very lazy. Like, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they're all no, because you know you're supposed to be out there like handing out samples, 
<laughs> right? <laughs> it's not Costco, but yeah. <laughs> no, you, you just, yeah, you gotta at least you know let people know that you're yeah open. You probably want to go to like uh, clubs or, or a party or something. Parties, yeah. you know, you gotta be out there. I mean, that's funny because mm-hmm. you clearly had access to the athletes who we weren't supposed to, but a, a lot yeah. of us smoked weed, so that would yeah. have been. That was the other thing, is because I at the <laughs> time I was uh, I was um, I, well I still am well I was on a student visa at the time. Oh, I'm so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is criminal. Well, offense, anyways, right? yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so you could have gotten in trouble and very big had that. Tip. Oh, that status is, changed. Oh, that's grounds for yeah, really aggressive legal consequences. Yeah, yeah, so. I wasn't a good drug dealer. I like, think we were really nervous about getting drug tested as athletes because they yeah. made you feel like that was going to happen a lot. Yeah. In the four years that I was there, mm-hmm. our school, because it's like a certain percentage of your league gets tested and then a certain percentage of the teams in your school and then yeah. like they pick one team and then it's only like, you know, a certain, like a 10% of that team gets tested. So it's really like seems random at least yeah and when i was there the track team got tested once <laughs> oh but shit but it was only like yeah. three or four guys or something yeah and then i think the soccer team but that yeah. only happened that was the only yeah we never got tested yeah um yeah that was it's weird how far we've come with uh with weed particularly yeah. like even back then it was very like faux pas like i wonder know. now because you can still get in trouble for it you can not in, but I mean, I think oh, in, school. in NCAA terms mm. and in, the, you know, in the NBA and stuff, which is why they're like, that's stupid to, <clears throat> but yeah. so then, but it's legal. <laughs> Federally. Yeah. yeah. So I don't really know how you. It's, it's a weird one, uh, but we've made a lot of progress because every small town I, we, we, we've been on the road, like every small town you go to, weed is legal. And I'm like, wow, this this is weird. Like, well, and they're never upset about it. Even when I go to places where <laughs> it's not, because I forget, you know, when you're in the South or something, you're like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Like, they're, there's still people, like, you can still smell it places, and, like, you know, they're still figuring it out. Not that, yeah. I mean, we obviously did. You just yeah. find your one friend that's now selling weed. Uh, yeah. Did, yeah, it, I don't think it's worth people worrying about. But at the time, it was, Yeah. it felt very scary. It was uh, oddly enough is uh, I I wouldn't categorize myself as a pothead, mm-hmm. like I I smoke weed or you know partake in it, uh, but <laughs> 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 look at him, <laughs> you know I don't smoke that much when I say partake. I partake. I, from I time partake to in time. the greens. Um, <laughs> no, I was a late bloomer. Like I started really late because mm. uh, for context for some people, I, I'm from Uganda, so it's like. Different culture, different context. We could you get weed there? No, no. You know, we did. I mean, do. that's the thing. Mm-hmm. I, you'd think I'd know more about like growing it and stuff, but I don't even know <laughs> where it thrives the most. You know? Yeah, I, no, yeah. Th- we got it over there. It's just never something that I, I didn't grow up in any like uh, extreme environments where like there's drugs it and was stuff used, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. We we did other things like tobacco and stuff like mm-hmm. that, but weed. I was late to it, but. But towards the la- my last two years of college, I, I was a pretty... Really got on board. I really got on board. <laughs> yeah. That sounds I, about right for me, too, mm-hmm. because I got injured and wasn't playing my last two years. Yeah. And so, like, I was with the team, but when you're not, they don't, my coach didn't give a shit about me at that point because I wasn't playing. Yeah. So, yeah, I was eating cookies a lot. <laughs> 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 no, I did it so much that he, when I graduated, I got into the the employment pool, and uh, I had a few issues there. Oh, they were still drug testing then. Oh yeah, for jobs. Yeah, forget. Oh that yeah, they had to I do got that. a job and I passed everything, and the recruiter was like, "Just one last step, you gotta, uh, you know, pee in a cup, like tomorrow." Like she's like, we've paid the lab fees. You just gotta show up and do your thing. I'm like, what? <laughs> so I diluted my body. Yeah. Went the first time, failed it. It came up inconclusive. Yeah, because you're too hydrated. Yeah. yeah. And then my dumbass. Once I got off that, uh, so it was like a let's say uh, a Friday. I tested on Friday, 
Saturday, I'm like, woo, I'm done. <laughs> and you I, hadn't got the results back yet? No. So you were smoking weed then? I was like, I'm done. I'm, <laughs> I'm done. So good, I, I got this job. I go to a party. Someone passes a joint around. I'm like, I think I'm good. I already did that. <laughs> so I smoke it. And then first thing Monday, she's like, hey, your, your thing didn't work. You got to go back. I'm like, I was smoking 48 hours ago. Oh, I didn't tell her that. Right. But I was just thinking that. So I went back a second time and then failed it. Okay. Again, for the same reason, because okay, I was so because I was so nervous, I I I over diluted my body. Yeah. That I went to one of those smoke shops and got th- those liquids. Oh, did you? Yeah, you know those ones. Yeah, that I don't. To... I don't even know if they exist anymore. Because I don't even you've... think they work. It's just a bunch of. I'm sure. Like they... hydration, like you just. But that was a big. We talked about it a lot. Like, what mm-hmm. if you did get drug tests? What would you do? Yeah, because you hear stories about people giving them clean pee or whatever you know like somebody yeah, yeah. else peeing and which is insane <laughs> yeah but then there was these drinks that would for some reason make you test yeah not positive no nah, they didn't work for me because all they did was dilute, dilute my it. shit <laughs> so funny enough i i did uh this was the story i ended up telling on the moth which i'm confident saying now because it's public record okay it's already yeah it's not our fault that this this because this is already out yeah okay. it was uh, i failed twice and then i was desperate i needed the job and i just used my my instincts because i realized uh the entire testing department at the uh, lab it was it was like one white lady one asian lady i was like do they really know black people <laughs> I was like, I bet they don't. This is America. <laughs> so I, I had my friend. I gave him my ID. I was like, hey, help me out. So he went in and took it for you? Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> and look, that's on them. That's not your fault. That's they not my fault. Yeah. yeah. Know the difference between their person. <laughs> and if hilarious. you see my friend, we don't we don't really... Look alike? No. <laughs> no, we're very different. I like, mean, I don't yeah. think... I've a bouncer at a club would probably look closer at your ID than that lady, right? She's like, yeah. oh, you know the birth date and stuff. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's how I got my first job out of college. <laughs> that was, wow, I was nervous. I thought you weren't going to get the job. That's good to know. <laughs> I know, it's probably the sketchiest thing I've ever See, done. See, I wouldn't have thought to do that. Do what? That get have somebody, somebody else go because it, there's. I know people who look enough like me. Like that's yeah. Not, you know that could do that. You could pull it off. Yeah. Yeah. But because <laughs> I would have thought like the drinks. Yeah. And then like have did they watch you pee? Uh, they, they you just go into a room, but they're outside. Like there's not there's very little room. It's kind of like walking into this room with mm-hmm. a, a thing, and then someone's waiting outside the door. Okay. So like you like to sneak something else in would you be could difficult. but there's very little room yeah yeah i was like okay oh. i mean that is the easier way to do it of just like because then he just does what yeah you would there's do. no that's it's, it's fresh it's hot <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's true if nice and warm that wasn't warm <laughs> they'd be like this is not. oh my gosh yeah that's amazing i mean i want to say like sure yes this started not the best idea smoking weed again before you have to then take the test again and all that but it's yeah. pretty good idea to have him take it for you yeah the joys of being young and stupid uh there is a confidence that ends up being like super helpful that i don't have anymore and i don't know no. if i ever had it but yeah young dumb people <laughs> get away with shit sometimes because they're just like whatever you know whatever. or like yeah i'm just gonna take this risk and i wish i had more of that as an older adult i don't i don't have it anymore <laughs> i'm not gonna lie I'm, I'm the guy asking people to turn the music down <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, not, I don't know. Something about the older you get, you get more cautious. Yeah, we you just want things to come down. Yeah, you go, hey, quiet. Sh- sh- it's loud enough in here. <laughs> I don't need. <laughs> no, we did. Uh, my wife and I went to a bar the other night, Friday night, which we normally, you know, we have shows usually, so we're not at just like a bar. Yeah, but we, you know, had the night off. Whatever, we walk in and it's. 10 30 11 and yeah. it was we sat down for five minutes before we we're like it's too loud in here so we left. <laughs> <laughs> i was like i'm glad we don't normally come to bars where's the time. manager can yeah, you it turn it down too loud right now. <laughs> i don't know what it is uh, as you get older you just it just kicks in 
Because I remember, I'm not going to lie, I was that guy. The guy where the neighbor is knocking on the door yeah. and being like, yo, dude, come on, man. We've got to work tomorrow. I know. We had this, like, <clears throat> where was I? Richland or something. Yeah. And it uh, had to be, like, a graduation night party or something. You know, like, yeah. high school kids, clearly, or maybe college kids, got a hotel room. Ooh, next yeah. to us oh boy. and it was so loud and they're like <laughs> music and they're like yelling at each other you know whatever so then we had to call the front desk which you know like i i try not to do because you know you've yeah been we did the same stuff and you know they just need to, but it was like three in the morning like uh. this place so we call up and then poor gabe <laughs> from the front desk had to go <laughs> knock on the door and be like hey you guys need to keep it down you know and then they like it was quiet for a little bit and then it got loud again you know so we have to call him again and he uh. goes and then he was like guys seriously <laughs> <laughs> eventually they left which i thought was interesting because they got the hotel room but yeah it was really like y yeah i felt they probably got a lead on on some house somewhere like yeah. i remember like um, oh yeah you go from one yeah going to, to sq it's like i remember there was a couple houses like there was a volleyball right. house rugby house soccer i house. was gonna say that each we remember the soccer house because it was yeah. big and it had the basement you had to hop yeah yeah and then rugby house. <laughs> there was a softball house was it yeah, yeah there was yeah. a softball house we had a lot of parties at. we had a lot of i just went to parties there yeah. But all the basketball players lived in the same apartment building. Yeah. Clearwater. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's there anymore. But then you'd say so you'd go from apartment to apartment there. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, we didn't have a house. We didn't, there wasn't a basketball house. <laughs> Basket. Wait. Uh, yeah, there wasn't one. Uh, I know it's funny because a couple of the people that went to the parties are a family now. And I'm like, wow. This <laughs> 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 you could go from a college party to. You know, where husband, yeah, wife, children, kids, yeah, and the whole There's thing. There's a few of them, yeah. I'm like, wow, that's impressive. I thought we were wasting time. We were building family connections. Yeah, we were <laughs> matchmaking and. Uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> nobody lied to you that college parties are a waste of time. You want to hear how your parents met? Yeah. Um, it was Jersey Shore night at the, <laughs> at the soccer house. Ah. <laughs> uh, what a tragic time. It's like mostly bad decisions at that time, but yeah. because it's like, I think about the stuff we probably should have gotten in trouble for, or somebody should have gotten hurt that didn't, you know, like you just, but you do it anyways. And, and now you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe. Yeah. I, I think. Nobody uh, died. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I did a lot of dumb shit a lot in college, is, especially around. Alcohol was the biggest one. Yeah, I was, I was, uh, it was just one time we came from a party and it was me and my 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 crew and most of them, uh, you know, for context, <laughs> it was minorities. My crew, sorry, like, <laughs> it was, yeah, I had a very diverse up. crew. Yeah, it was like me, some Mexican dudes, some Croatian dude, a um, bunch of minorities, and these girls stop us uh, just down this like cherry somewhere mm -hmm. there and two white girls are like hey we we need a ride we're like we're full <laughs> we're full we Sorry. were yeah i know you're like it, but i like that response because <laughs> two white girls would be like these guys will take us and you're like we don't have room guess Sorry. what they yeah. did they were like we could get in the trunk oh no and we're like sure <laughs> we're like we're, we're not gonna leave them on the right. street which in the <laughs> closed bubble of you guys it's like yeah we're just giving these girls a ride they said they wanted to get in a trunk that's fine but if anyone else sees <laughs> that or you get pulled over that is a different story than that's what exactly what we did we <laughs> put these girls in the trunk and drove a few like 10 blocks or so and i was like if if this could go so many ways <laughs> if we did got... you know them before that or they just sort of kind like of, okay. you know the face you see them in passing or you had a class yeah but you didn't i didn't talk. like no no yeah, them, yeah. like their names and stuff yeah uh it was more like I know you go to the same school that I do. Yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so dumb shit like that. <laughs> that is wow. I mean, uh, yeah, because if yeah, if you did get oh, by the time over, I explained, I mean, <laughs> they wanted to get in the trunk. <laughs> what officer? <laughs> yeah, I swear. Well, then watching them get out at some point. Oh my <laughs> god! Yeah. You, like, that's fine. Ah, uh, jeez. Yeah, so many. I, I 
honestly a lot of dumb decisions but you know we survived we're here yeah yeah we, we're thriving we, we're, we're thriving this is good sometimes we, when we're we go, successful yeah exactly <laughs> when we go on podcasts they say we're successful <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> we're grown adults yeah yeah we didn't <clears throat> die no Oof. yeah mostly bad decisions at that time terrible oh god the, i don't know why the the visuals of you guys pulling over and them getting in your trunk is like <laughs> so funny to me. There was yeah. a lot of riding in trunks when I was younger. I know it was it was uh, it was pretty you know standard. Yeah. And, and, you just yeah. didn't. Oh, we don't have enough room. We'll just get in. The yeah, trunk. yeah. It, oh, coming from where I come from, third world. You know, you, you just like there's no limit. Like you know how most of the trucks here are like capacity right. eight or whatever. Mm mm. You pile it up. Just fit w- as many as you can. No, where I come from, you put everything: cows, chickens, people. <laughs> oh, even all right. You just pile it until it can't move. Um, so that's that's my background. Well, we, that would have been a good explanation then, if you did get pulled over. You'd be like, yeah, well, where I'm, I'm from, not. we just, we give everybody a ride. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that would have been terrible to explain. <laughs> But you know what? Since we're talking about this, I this I think this uh, uh this fits here. I do. It, there's a joke I do on stage. I'm not gonna run a bit. Don't worry. <laughs> 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 but I did have a situation uh, while I was on Capitol Hill, which was a friend and I. We went on a night out. This was in college. Mm-hmm. And then on you know we're driving back. We get to the dorms and we're just like it was. This is when we lived off campus, but close to the dorms. Right. So we're just waiting outside. We're chatting. We're just having a good conversation. And then this couple gets into the car. Okay. And, and they're drunk. We're drunk too, but coherent. They're more drunk. They're more that. drunk. Okay. And they're like, "Drive, bitch," because they thought it was a, a lift. Oh. If you don't, the night out was a like a door like from our school yeah. would give you like a safe ride home kind of thing. Yeah. And so you could call it as a student and it would come and pick you up as long as you were within like a mile or two or whatever the yeah. area was. <clears throat> so it would take you from school to where you lived or whatever. Yeah. So people would use it when they were drunk or whatever. Yeah. So these guys just get in there and even if it was a lift, don't say that anyways, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were just yelling. They're like, drive bitch, drive bitch. And when I like, yelled it, uh, c- cause the two of us were African. So I don't know if that kicked in where it's like, Oh, at the time, at least, you know, it's like most of that kind of transportation, was driven by people like us <laughs> so we get into this shouting match and then you know the neighbors come out and then the neighbors call the cops it was it became <clears throat> a whole thing uh yeah i thought i was interesting but i i the, the positive part is <laughs> was like, oh, five years <laughs> later i got a bit out of it yeah that i i do the w- way it's edited a, little, a lot <laughs> 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 yeah oh that's okay that's funny now well, yeah. okay, so this weekend, because this will come out tomorrow, yeah, uh, we are at Club Comedy in Seattle together. So Saturday, if you want to come and see that story in real life, maybe <laughs> <laughs> see the bit that came We embellish it. a little bit, yeah. but yeah. yeah. That would be good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Club Comedy Thursday. Oh, it starts today, right? Yeah, but this will come out tomorrow, so we're going to Oh, okay. Be, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, yeah. I don't even know what the date is. Anyways, Friday and Saturday, I'll still be at Club Comedy in Seattle. Get your tickets, and uh, Burnji will be with me on Saturday again. He's yes. with me tonight, but he's too busy, too successful for us <laughs> on Friday. <laughs> no. Did Rick tell you what happened? No. No. Why is it? Nothing. I mean, it's not a big deal. Do you have another show? Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. No, so I, I sent him my de- dates, and then he didn't get back to me, and then I got that middle one right, filled right. and then he got back to me and i was like uh you know i, I, I still want to do it yeah. but i already sold that date so sold the date. <laughs> <laughs> these are up for bid i like it. i'll give it to the highest bidder for sure that date that's yeah great. i understand it's fine yeah. uh well okay so where can people follow you uh, online and <clears throat> find you come see you uh, you can find me online, Birunji Comedy. Uh, my last name that is B I R U N G I. No Robert anymore. Comedy. <laughs> yeah. I repeat, B I R U N G I Comedy on Facebook, Instagram, I think Twitter too. 
Yeah. <laughs> My handles are not up to date. <laughs> I don't it. use Twitter that much. Okay, I, well, I jump on there every once in a while. Follow on Instagram. How about that? That's Instagram is the best. Okay. Yeah, I'm always on Instagram. There you go. Okay, yeah. good. Well, and, and uh, mostly, the I think the moral of this episode is we've made a lot of bad decisions, yeah. but we've made it through it. We're, we're successful here, now. You know? Yeah, yeah we're <laughs> successful now. Look at that. It's in a studio. Uh, well, thank you for being here. This was very fun. Thank you. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, you can subscribe, like, share, do all that stuff. If you're listening on any of the platforms, go ahead and rate and review, subscribe, all that stuff. We have YouTube memberships if you want the episodes early and then some behind-the-scenes episodes and things like that. Um, and then my dates are updated if you want my website, monicanevy.com on the show's page or linktree.com slash Monica Nevy. That's tickets to all the fancy shows. I got a lot coming up. It's going to be a good time. But right now, you can just keep watching Dumb Pitches. You're weird. Yes. <laughs>